welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. A church you can call home. Amen. And don't stay away. It's time to come on in. You know, I mean, this is not church. This is the place where we assemble ourselves together. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Church is us. God's children. We're his church. We're the body of Christ going somewhere to happen. Because there's so much bad news going around. Oh we God. need to bring the good news yeah. wherever we go. Everywhere. Amen. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every every creature. That means people. And you know what? Everywhere you go, there's people. So your world is where you live, where you work, where you shop. Uh, all these areas. But as a child of God, we have a mission. We have a ministry of reconciliation. Bringing the lost to God. Amen. Amen. Bringing those lost souls to the kingdom of God. Yeah. And guess what? You are so special because you're his mouthpiece. Yes. You're the closest thing to a Bible going somewhere to happen for somebody. Yes. And sharing Jesus. Instead of something negative. Instead of something bad. You're sharing the good news. Yes. And you're bringing light to a dark world. See how important you are? This is how important it is. Amen. That's why he says, cast all them problems on me. Yes. Cast all those cares on me. Because I want you to go and succeed and be a winner. He's yes. made us to win. He didn't make us to lose. Yes. Amen. But we just sit back because somebody told you, you can't do that. Somebody mm -hmm. told you, uh, we're not supposed to do that. Somebody told you, you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about that. You put, read what the Word of God says and get yeah. it in you so that you can start doing what God wants you to do. So that you can see yourself the way He sees you. Yes. He yes. sees you a winner. He sees you okay. a champion. Regardless of what people say. Okay. Amen. Uh, let me see if I can say this. My destiny is not on somebody else's words. Mm -hmm. My destiny is on the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you need to remember that yourself. Amen. Your destiny is upon what he's called you to do. So that's why I'm basing myself on his word, not on yeah. people's words. Mm -hmm. Amen. I think I got the word across. Welcome, yeah. brother. <laughs> So anyway, we want to welcome you, uh, welcome all our NBC uh, family and all visitors and all those of you joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Um, I was uh, kind of not knowing uh, what title to give it, so I'm going to just give it our message today is count your blessings. Ooh. Amen. Count your blessings. And like I said a few minutes ago, I want to read you the scripture break. I read it to the family already here, but it says, count your blessings. Sometimes we're so busy adding our troubles, oh. our problems, our cares, that we forget to count our blessings. Yeah. As children of God, you know, he's not stopping his blessings for you. We stop our yeah. blessings by the things we say, uh -huh. the things we do. So watch your words and watch your actions. Yes. Amen. He's not holding back from us. We are the ones running from him. We're the ones walking away from him. All right. Amen. But he wants to bless you. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. So let's not forget about it. You know, it's so easy to just confess the wrong things instead of the right things. But you know, when you get full of the word, when you get full of his word, you're going to confess the word instead of the negative. Amen. All right. I think I've said enough there. But uh, before we go go any further, let's uh, make this declaration together. Grab yes. your Bibles. Did you bring your Bible? Yes. If not, we got some in the back. Yes. Thank but you. let's make this declaration together. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can't do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You need to write this down and say it every time. Amen. Says I am what it says I, I am. am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. Yes. Each and every day. That's why it's so important. It says the truth will set you free. Yeah. There's so many mindsets. There's so many negative things uh -huh, uh -huh. that if you're not get if you're not getting the word in you, Amen. You're walking in fear. That's it. And the more words you get in you, you'll be stepping out in faith instead of fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. I'm excited already. I don't know about you. But uh <laughs> 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 hallelujah. Count your blessings. Today, tomorrow, and always. 
Let us praise him and give thanks to him for whom the blessings flow from. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't stop your blessings. He don't want to stop them. I don't want to stop them. So I need to stay right with him. Amen. I need to stay right. And uh, grab your Bible again. Let's open it to Psalms 103. That's going to be our text. Psalms 103. And uh, let's remember these things. I'm just going to read the first two, uh, first two uh, verses here. And uh, King James says, Blessed are my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. It says, Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not what? All, all his benefits. benefits. Amen. If there's a lot of benefits, I want them. Amen. I don't want I don't want anything holding back. He's not holding back from you except us. So we need to get us, like Pastor Pam was talking about. We need to look in the mirror. And you know, if you got problems, you look in the mirror, and that's your biggest problem right there. <laughs> I gotta fix this problem. Amen. I gotta get right with him on a daily basis. Make sure you have what we call relationship. That means we talk to him, he talks to us. Yes. Amen. We pray and he answers. Yes. Amen. But it's a, a it's a relationship and there's conversation going, you know. Oh. Um I, I was singing this song on the way on the way here and I said, Man, we need to sing this song. He says, Just a little talk with Jesus. <laughs> Tell him about all your troubles. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Give it to him. He says, cast all your troubles on me because I care for you. I love you. Yes. Amen. You listen, if you don't have any, any troubles, <laughs> oh boy. We, maybe you need to get saved. Because, <laughs> we all got <laughs> because the enemy is not going to trouble you. Amen. If he if you're already on his side, yes, he just wants to keep you there, uh -huh. make it nice and lovey dovey and comfy. And you don't do anything. Oh no, Jesus, man, I got That's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. No, you know, yes. let's get right. Let's get right. Amen. Let's get it right. So count your blessings today, tomorrow, and always daily. Let us give praise and thanks to Him Amen. because the blessings flow from Him. Yes. And I want to be right with Him. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let me uh, read it. I wrote it here, and. Um, let me read it to you again. It says, Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget forget not all his benefits. And the message translation goes like this. Oh, my soul, bless God. From head to toe. I'll bless his holy name. Oh, my soul, bless God. And says this. Don't forget a single blessing. That's it. If you forgot him, you know... That's too bad. Mm -hmm. But don't forget those blessings. Amen. Man, that's good right there. That's so good. give thanks to the Lord with a grateful heart. Yes. Amen. Thank give you. thanks with a grateful. Let's go to John 3.16. Everybody should know that. Yeah. That's one of our scriptures too. And you know, hope you brought your Bibles because we use our Bibles. Amen. Amen. And we preach from the Word. So we need our Bibles. We have these slides, Pastor. Remember, no. Okay. Remember, uh, Remember, remember Bible, what Bible means. Acronym says, basic instruction before you leave earth. Yes. Basic instruction before you leave earth. Uh -huh. We need this basic instruction, amen? And we need to get it into us. Yes. John 3, 16 so, says, for God so loved the world. That means people. <clears throat> God loves people. Yes, he does. Some are saved, some are not saved. He still love him. When he went to the cross, he died for everybody. Yes, he did. He didn't die just for saved people. Mm -hmm. Amen. He died for all people. For God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. Amen. So, you know, hey, we've all had some losses. You know, we've lost loved ones. Yes. But you know what? God lost his son too. Yes. He sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. Jesus came. And he knew he was going to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. It didn't change his mind. But you know, on a daily basis, you go to the Father and say, Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go through this. That's me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure you ask the Father for just uh, ask the Father for strength. Yes, we can do the same thing. Lord, yes. I need your strength. You know, mm -hmm. hey, it's hard out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I got a little stick on my truck, bumper on the bumper on my truck. It says, oh, yeah. it's him without Jesus. Yes, yeah. 
is here without Jesus. So if you don't want to be without Jesus, you need we yes. all need Jesus. Yes, we do. Let me go back and says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Whoever. Mm -hmm. So are you a whoever? Yes. <laughs> have you confessed I'm it? Whosoever. If you haven't, it, it's time you do. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't be like the prodigal son, you know, run and say, one day I'm going to come mm -hmm. back. Well, what, that day may not be guaranteed. Mm -hmm. No day is guaranteed. No day is guaranteed. So you got to get yourself right with him before anything else, you know. Yes. Just confess him, Lord, <laughs> I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And he's not going to turn you down like the world does, like your friend does or whoever does. Mm -hmm. They turn you down all the time. Until they need something, then they come to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Say, oh, I can always go to brother so and so or sister so and so. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. It's ringing the bell. <laughs> All right. For God so loved the world, He came mm -hmm. and He lost. So He's our heavenly Father's lost a son. So He know when you're when you're hurting, when you lose a father, when you lose a mother, when you lose a loved one, He knows mm -hmm. what it's like. Amen. Believers should give thanks to him on a daily basis. Well, let's go to First Thessalonians. Oh, boy. First Thessalonians. I've got it wrote down here, but uh, I want us to use the word of God. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I can find it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know it's in here somewhere. Yeah. Right before Timothy. Yeah, right after Colossians. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, I found it. <laughs> First Thessalonians 5 and 18. These are all familiar, you know, but let's see what it says. Mm -hmm. It says, it says, well, first, uh, go to 16 and we'll, we'll just read down to 18. It says, rejoice evermore. Uh -huh. And it says, pray without ceasing. Yes. Pray. It means communicate with the Father. You don't have to stop. You can pray for to Him all the time and have relationship with Him. Pray without ceasing. You know, pray as words, confessing words to him, you know. Mm -hmm. Says and 18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. concerning mm -hmm. you. Amen. Concerning you. So gratitude is the best attitude to have. Oh my goodness. gratitude, give him thanks. The gratitude. That's the best attitude. You can have attitude, you know, but why not have the best attitude? Have the right yes. attitude. Yes. Have yes. a positive attitude. Yes. Have an attitude of gratitude to say thank you, Jesus. Yes. You know, if you don't know what else to say, say thank you, Jesus. Why? Because he went to the cross. He mm. paid a debt he didn't owe. Mm. Yes, he did. And we owe a debt we cannot pay. Unless you just say thank you, Jesus, for what he's done. You know when you see a military person? You go. You can go up to them, call it, or write it, you know, and tell them, "Thank you for your service time. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it." Well, you know, hi, I'm not a military person, and I have nothing to do with that. Yes, you do. You live in the best country, free country, <laughs> and that person, that man, that woman that died mm -hmm. serving our country, yeah. died for you, for you to have your freedom to go to school and do what you need to do <laughs> in a free country. Yes. So even if you have no military members in your family, you have somebody in this country that went, if somebody lost a, a, a brother, or sister, or, or a son or daughter mm -hmm. for you to have your freedom. So it affects you yes, because you live in the best free country there All is. Right. So come on now. <laughs> Attitude of gratitude changes depressions into, or excuse, excuse me, change, changes, uh, Depression to a joy. Oh, yeah. Amen. The best medicine you can have is joy. joy. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. That's good. You know, when you see a, 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 a smile on somebody, it's contagious. <laughs> and, you, and they start smiling before they even know what's going on. And see somebody smiling. Why are, you, why are we smiling? When they open the door for you to mm -hmm. say something, you say, because Jesus loves me. Because Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. They, 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 they ask them, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Amen. 
<laughs> All right. uh, you know why? Because Jesus says, this is the day I've given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It say be sad. He said, be glad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, we, get, we get that backwards. Mm -hmm. So attitude of gratitude changes depression to joy, a frown to a smile. Yes. Some of us have been frowning too long. Oh, boy. Amen. God, if, we, really? if we crack a smile, we might crack the face off of, our, <laughs> off of us. So let's change that. I mean, it's yeah. just so simple, you know, to put a, a smile mm -hmm. instead of a, a frown. Yeah. You know, yeah. when you have a frown, nobody wants to approach you. Oh my God. Man, they're they're man, Ooh. they're ticked off. I, I don't want nothing to, nothing to do with this. Nothing at all. Amen. Mm. But if you have Jesus, you have the love of God in you. Yeah. You know, you walk up to him and says, Jesus yeah. loves you. Yeah. See that smile. See that frown go up and, and turn into a smile. Come on now. <laughs> Gratitude is being grateful, being thankful, being appreciative. Appreciative, you know. If nothing else, just say thank you. You know, whatever. I don't know how to pray. Just raise your hands and say thank you. You know, Hallelujah. Lord. Nothing wrong with that. That's it. Giving thanks to God. Psalms one hundred seven one says, "Give thanks to Him." And then uh, Psalms one eighteen twenty four. We just quoted that, but. It, it, one of our most quoted uh, scriptures there is Psalms 118 24 this is the day the Lord has made we some translation says we mm -hmm. some says let mm -hmm. and some of, and I say you can personalize and make it I yes. will rejoice and I be glad rejoice. in it circumstances should not dictate that's it what, what you how, how you gonna receive this day God has given you mm -hmm. first of all he woke you up he gave you a new day. Yes. So why should I be sad in a new day? Mm -hmm. You know, if you haven't cast those things on him, is you still carrying those things? Let him go. He's got a mission for you, but you can't fulfill a mission if you got all this cares, all this weight on you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run a race, and I got all this weight. Man, I can't run with all this weight on me. Mm -hmm. Why haven't you given it to him? We need to obey what the word of God says. Yes, thank you, Lord. So circumstances shouldn't dictate what you're going to do with this day. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it, just like the word of God says. Because greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. And no matter what awaits me out there, I'm going to get right with him before I step out. Yes. And when I step out, I'm going to step out in faith. And whatever is yeah. waiting, <laughs> better be running because I'm going to take care of it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to confess the word and the word's going to come and they're going to be on the run. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Let every day be a day to give thanks. Not just once yeah. in a while when things are going good. Oh yeah. You know, that's what most of us wait for. When things are going good, oh thank oh, you Lord, Jesus. things are well. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. No, all the time. All the time. Count your blessings. Mm -hmm. Forget all situations. Remember, Jesus has done what Jesus has done. Count your blessings. Amen. That's what we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. Count your blessings. Psalms 20, uh, 92 and 1 in King James says this. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises yes. unto thy name. Amen. Write these down, you know, so you can go find them. Well, you know what? You can just go to the internet <laughs> and type on there. Give thanks. Oh. Scriptures. And it'll take you to all the oh, yes. uh, scriptures that says give thanks. give thanks. And just write them down, get you a list of them, and just put them down. Write them down, post them, so that you can start learning those. Yes. And yes. you can confess those and, and say, Lord, I just want to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's okay. It's okay. You know, he paid a debt he didn't owe. Mm -hmm. And he was sacrificed. So... From now until time he calls me home, I can say, thank you. Thank you. And 90, uh, Psalms 92 and 1 says, It is a good thing to give thanks yes. unto the Lord. And to sing praises praise. unto thy name, O Most High. So give thanks and praise him for blessings, for blessing us abundantly. Amen. Yes. Uh, John 10, 10 says, the thief comes mm -hmm. to steal, kill, and destroy. He says, Jesus comes. So he says, I've come that you might have life. And have it more abundantly. Uh -huh. Amen. So don't let these things dictate it and hold back. 
Amen. Don't stop the blessings because you are going to uh, receive that life that he's given us abundantly and live that life that he wants us to live. I have, I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. He's talking about his children. Remember, he's our heavenly father and we're his children. Amen. I've read. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go to this, but if you're a child of God, if you've confessed him as your Lord and Savior, you shouldn't go around calling yourself a sinner anymore because I'm a child of God and that's what I am. I may sin, but if I confess it, I'll get it out of me and give it back to him. Amen. Give it to him, dump it, and press on. He says he forgives and forgets. Mm -hmm. So you should do the same thing. And don't let people or enemy hold you back. Yeah. Philippians 4, 6 uh, says this. Be careful for, for, for nothing. <clears throat> but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Here's another psalm that you can uh, use that we say all the time, but just, just mark it down. Psalms 100. Yes. Amen. I'm going to read it to you from the New King James. But it's, it's a psalm of giving thanks. It says, make a joyful noise. Excuse me. Make make a shout for, uh, joyful shout to the Lord, all, all, you all you lands. Serve the Lord with <clears throat> sadness. Gladness. Okay. <laughs> Serve the Lord with gladness. Mm -hmm. Come before his presence with singing. So if you hear me singing... Don't say, Pastor, uh, <laughs> something about your, your singing. Man, I'm, going, I'm singing unto the Lord. You just happen to be around and you're listening to Pastor, but I'm singing to the Lord. So don't stop me from singing. <laughs> know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. He has made us. He didn't, listen, He didn't make junk. That's it. He didn't make a loser. That's it. He didn't make you to lose. He made you precious. Mm -hmm. He made you to win. And he sent you here to win, not to lose. Yes, yes. Amen. We get all confused and all mm -hmm. lost in letting the words from others mm -hmm. dictate our destiny. That's it. But we need to get that word in us mm -hmm. so we can set us free. Yes. Amen. So we can set us free. Thank you, Lord. So, where was I? Oh, he has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. We are his people. I'm a child of God. That's what the word says. So if he can't buy that, that's too bad. But <laughs> I'm going to confess what the word of God says. If I'm a child of God, I'm a child of God. Yeah. Regardless of what you say. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not good enough. You're not qualified. I have when I confessed him as my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. He come. He, I'm a child of God, so you have a problem with that, you go and you deal with God. Okay? Amen? <laughs> Since we are his people and the sheep of his pasture, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Oh, Amen? This is a great psalm of giving thanks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Praise God. Believers, be glad and give thanks daily. Believers should be the happiest, most joyful people on earth. Oh my goodness. Amen. <laughs> we know the word. We know the greater one. And we shouldn't let circumstances or anybody dictate how your day is going to go. That's it. I say, hey, God is with me. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a great day. And I'm going to be glad. I'm going to rejoice in it because that's what the Word of God says. Regardless of what's going on out there. Well, it's raining, it's snowing, it's whatever. The weather, circumstances, bad news, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do what the Word of God tells me to do. And I'm going to enjoy this day. If you want to have a bad day, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. But it's not because of Him. He's giving you a day to be glad and rejoice. And you're choosing to do something else. Mm. Amen. Again, Psalms 103, 1 through 5. I'm going to read, read it to you again. It's a praise for the Lord's mercy. It says, Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. 
Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all your iniquities, mm -hmm. all sin, who healeth all diseases, all sickness and illness. Amen. He put it on Jesus when he went to the cross. So if you want to say anything, or speak over yourself and say, by Jesus, may I'm lay hands on myself and say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Because Jesus paid for, for my healing. So I'm I'm believing and body line up with the word of God and receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Well, pastor wasn't around, sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so wasn't around. But you can pray for yourself because I'm confessing the word of God back to him. And you can pray for yourself and confess your healing right there and receive your healing. Amen. Four says, who redeemed your life from destruction, who crowneth you with loving, loving kindness and tender mercies. And five says, who satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. <laughs> quit going around, quit going around saying negative things about yourself. Yeah. Remember, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. The words you speak. And we can't say that enough. So we, we, we got to speak right. Say the right things. You're having all those things because that's what you've been confessing. All right, yeah. So now start confessing the right things. Yeah. And turn it around and start confessing what he yes. says in his word. Amen. Things that can change. Give thanks because the Lord forgives all our sins. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> If somebody says God's not going to forgive you, <clears throat> ask them, can you give me scripture? Mm -hmm. No, brother so-and-so, pastor so-and-so, speaker so-and-so said, God don't forgive you. Mm -hmm. Well, give me scripture. Mm -hmm. I don't care what person said it. If they don't have scripture, I ain't receiving it. That's it. He says he'll forgive and forget. He put it on Jesus. Yes. So why would he put it on you if That's he's already right. done it? Put it on Jesus. Mm -hmm. It don't make sense. If he died for our sins, for our healing, and all these things God put on him, he put it all, sacrifice, put it all on him so we won't have to do that. So we got to get something right. We got to get our words right. We got to get mm -hmm. our, our speaking right, confessing the right things. Because if anything's happening to you, bad things can't come from heaven. Mm -mm. He ain't got bad things to put on you or to give you. Mm -hmm. Nothing but good things. So if some thing, bad things going on, then you need to get yourself, <coughs> look at yourself in the mirror and say, I got to fix this. Because mm -hmm. the problem is not up there. The problem is here. That's it. And we got to fix this. Yes. Amen. When we fix this, He's, he's, wait, he's waiting for us. He's there for us. He says he never leaves you nor forsake you. He's with you. And he wants to communicate with you all the time. We're just not open. We're not confessing. We're not speaking with him. He's knocking and we ain't answering. <laughs> he redeems us from destruction. Yes. He saves us from He saved us from the pit. If you choose to go to hell, it's not because of him. Mm -hmm. It's because you're not willing to confess him as your Lord and Savior. I don't want to give up the throne, you know. <laughs> we got to, some of us, we just got to dethrone ourselves mm -hmm. and put Jesus on the throne. On That's the how throne. simple it is. Confess him as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Just get off the throne and put him on the throne. Amen. Amen. <laughs> give us his loving kindness and mercies. Church, wherever you go, when you spend time with him before you hit the world. Mm. When you spend time with Him, you start to see people with His love and His compassion. Amen. And your words for people are going to change. Yes. Instead of putting people down, you're going to lift people up. Amen. And you're going to say nice things instead of bad things. Well, I know what you need. When you start wearing these uh, Jesus glasses, All right, you, now. You, 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 you're going to start confessing the right words. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That's put your Jesus glasses on. You don't have to put up glasses on. You can just say, "Hey, before I go, I'm just going to put my Jesus glasses and walk out." You mean start seeing people different, the way God sees them. He don't see his junk. You know what people? What God sees when He sees people? He says, "I sacrificed my son for you," and you still choose not to receive them. Amen. One day you'll have to stand before him. 
and say you like. And go have your friends around you. It's just going to be you and him. Mm. I'd rather him say, welcome, good and faithful servant, instead of depart from me because I never knew you. Mm -hmm. The choice is here, not up there. He's already given us mm -hmm. the choice to make. And we need to make the right choice. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. You still love Pastor? Yeah, is that number two? Let me see those hands, no rocks. <laughs> he gives us plenty of good things to eat. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Renews our health and our strength. Your youth is renewed. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, hey, listen. I like working out. But also, we need to work out our spiritual muscles. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I can work out these physical muscles every day. <laughs> but still, we got to work our spiritual muscles. Mm -hmm. We need to get the word and read it and meditate on it and study yeah. it, you know, every time we get a chance. Mm -hmm. Amen. The more you do this, the more work you're going to get in you yes. the more work you get in you the more faith you're going to step out in yes amen and that fear has got to go yes the only thing keeping us from doing this is fear mm -hmm. and laziness mm. <laughs> we got to sacrifice we got to crucify that flesh remember you're a spirit being we're three being we're a spirit amen we feed the word of god our spirit we feed it our and and we have a soul, our mind, our will, and our emotions. We renew our minds with the word of God. Because the battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. And you're going to receive good and bad. And you're going to think good and bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you need to make, I say, man, I, I need to renew my mind with the word of God. As often as needed. Not just once a day, once a month, once a year. But as often as needed daily. Mm -hmm. Renew it with the word of God. Mm -hmm. You know, the battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. That's what the enemy uses also. Mm -hmm. And he uses people also. If yes. they're not for God, they're for the enemy. Thank you, Lord. And we are, you know, we, ha we have a body. Mm -hmm. So we this body, we have to crucify it. Yes. Because the body wants to just have it easy. Take it easy. Do yeah. nothing. Be lazy. Mm -hmm. Be comfy. For comfy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give thanks. Reasons to give thanks. Count your blessings. Give thanks for His presence in your life. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for being with me. Mm -hmm. People desert us. Friends desert us when we need them. <laughs> the Lord is with us at all times, in all situations. The Bible says in, in uh, Hebrews, uh, well, I'll read you Hebrews 5, 13, 5, and 6. It says, Let us conduct, let our conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For yes, he himself, yes. for he himself, it says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, yes. And uh, six says this. So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Yeah, yeah. Amen. Let's remember this. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. If you feel by yourself, if you feel lonely, it's not because he's not with you. That's it's right. because. You're not communicating and you're not, you're not having a relationship. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you want to be a one-way thing. Yeah. You need to let him in. He already knows what you're doing. Mm -hmm. He already knows all about you. Oh, yeah. Good and bad. Good and, bad. and loves you the most. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. and Jesus went to the cross for us. He loved it that he loved it. He loves us that much. So why are you still hiding it? Confess it get it out and get yourself right instead of being lonely he says i'm always with you you can talk to me anytime mm -hmm. lord never leaves us but we have left him just like the prodigal son hey <laughs> you know when things are going good i'm running i'm going and doing my thing the prodigal son left the father yes. left home and want to do his own thing. Mm. The world caught up with him quick. And he saw himself in need. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I can always go back. I, I can go back to Father's house. Mm -hmm. And he did. And you know what Father was doing all these time, all the time he was gone? He was going to the door and looking. I know son is coming back. That's what God is doing, you know. He knows. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed his son. Jesus 
went and did what he did, but now he's interse interceding for us, wanting us to come home. Yes. And he's waiting for us to come home. And he's hoping for us to come home. Mm -hmm. And some of us make it, some of us may not, because that's what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. So don't put it off any longer. Some mm -hmm. of you, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, mm -hmm. you know, it's, you stop running. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's time, it's time, time is now. Mm -hmm. Receive Him as you want to say Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. It says Noah, Moses, Abraham, Gideon, Jonah, Job, David, Joseph. You know, all these Bible heroes we, we read about, mm. none of them was perfect, except yeah. Jesus. But we read about him, but they had sinned. Mm -hmm. But God used them. Yes, he did. Amen. And he wants to use us. You know why we were born in this world? God wants to use us. Mm -hmm. He's not finished with you. If you're still here, get yourself right and start listening to him because he wants to use you. You have a great part to do, mm -hmm. but you can't fulfill your part until you get right with him. Mm -hmm. And then I say, Lord, here am I. Send me. What can I do? Well, you can do great things with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <Praise> God. Second <clears throat> Timothy 1 and 7 says this, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. He's not given us a spirit of fear. If you got fear in your life, that means mm -hmm. we need to get right with God. And we command this spirit of fear to go in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Mm -hmm. God didn't give me this spirit of fear. But a power of love and of a sound mind. Sound mind. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, For we believers, we walk by faith hey. and not by sight. So get full of the word and confess it and speak it and talk it. You don't say it. Yeah. We need to say it. Mm -hmm. it you can get it in you. And it's okay to be there, but you know how, when it starts to work? When you speak it out. Mm -hmm. Amen? Speak it out. Mm -hmm. Confess it. Don't think about, well, poor little old me, you know. I'm confessing the word of God. Well, you're confessing. You remember the little, little David against a big giant? Mm -hmm. Oh, he went. He was confessing the word. He said, my God, greater is he that's in me. He says, the one that's back in me is greater than you. Anything that's facing you out there. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle. Yes. If you're trying to fight a spiritual battle physically, you lose. Mm -hmm. But when you get full of the word mm -hmm. and you start using the word against a spirit spiritual battle, and you win. Yeah. Because that spiritual world, that native thing, it's got to go. Yes, because yes. you're confessing the word and they see who's backing you. Yes. God is backing me. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is with me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna move forward. And he says, what he says, he says, press on, go forward. He never says, back up. Mm -hmm. We're going forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the armor of God is for the front. It's not for the back. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give you protection for the back, so don't cower and turn around and run back. That's it. <laughs> it's all for the front. Yes. Amen. <laughs> that was just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we got we're on the run again. <laughs> yeah, same, same old story. You know, the devil's running, and I'm ahead of him. <laughs> you know? He's got me on the run again. Mm -hmm. No, we we got to turn that around. Yeah. Yeah. Psalms twenty. Uh, Psalms twenty three. Is always in his presence. It's always he's with us. Yes. Says the Lord is my shepherd. I my shall shepherd. not want. Amen. Yes. Yes. This is a great psalm to, to, to know. In Psalms uh, 90, 91. Mm -hmm. It's a safety of, of abiding in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Just confessing the word. That's basically what we're doing. Yeah. Exodus 33 and 14 says this. The Lord replied. My presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Wherever you happen to go, you're a child of God. Wherever you, wherever you happen to go, uh -huh. He is going with you. Uh -huh. You can't go anywhere without Him. Okay? You can't go anywhere without Him. He is with you at all times. At all times. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we're not going to keep you much longer. Just confess a few more things and then we're, we're done. 
says, give thanks for his protection in your life. He wants to protect you wherever you are. He is with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Psalms 23, Psalms 91. Those are good for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lord watches over us and protects us. Mm -hmm. uh, pray these uh, prayers uh, daily. Amen. Remember the dangerous situation we have faced in the past and how God protected us. Mm -hmm. So be grateful and thankful. Some of us have gone through some things. Mm -hmm. But God has always been there. <laughs> I've been through some things. And uh, I've been close to death several times. But God has saw me through. You know why? Because he's not finished with me. Mm -hmm. Some of you have great testimonies. Take that testimony and use it when God wants you to use it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Because it's going to set somebody free. Ooh, God will protect you from every danger. He'll protect your soul. God will protect you as you, you uh, come and go both now and forever. Amen. He's always going to be there for you. Give thanks for his uh, providing in our lives. The Bible says in uh, Philippians 4.19. He says my God shall apply all of uh, my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So he's our provider. He's Jehovah Jireh. Our provider. Amen. So he's providing for us. Thank you Lord. Amen. I just want to say thank you for being there. And for supplying all my needs. Amen. The Lord is faithful, and He will meet all our needs. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Give thanks to <clears throat> all those He's placed around you. And you know, since you got born again, He's placed new people, new uh, friends around you. My, 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 my company has changed. I've got new friends. Mm -hmm. Amen. He took, I said, Lord, he says, help me with all these enemies I have. And I started losing friends. <laughs> But I confessed him as my Lord and Savior. Mm. And now he's brought new mm -hmm. friends around. Some for a season. Some for a short time. Some for a longer season. Some forever. But they're always there for you. You may not hear about them. But they're praying for you. They're watching out for you. Mm -hmm. And they're there when you need them. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of friends you need. <laughs> yes, Since the Lord was with, Mo with Jesus, with Moses, with Daniel, uh, with David. He was with them. And guess what? He wants to be with us. Mm -hmm. Amen. He can be your closest friend. He's there for you. Never say you're not good enough or you're no good. Mm -hmm. God, like I said, God don't make junk. That's it. You're a child of God. We're made in His image. So you're, you're valuable to Him. You're precious to Him. See yourself the way He sees you. You know, the enemy wants to put us down and do anything to distract us and keep us down and see ourselves less than what God made us to be. When you start seeing yourself the way he sees you, you won't say things like this. Like the world says, you know, you're not good enough, you're not qualified, you, you're no good. God has called you, listen, God has, God has called you and he put you here and then God had put a call on you, he anointed you, he equipped you to complete your mission. When you complete your mission, that means you're a winner. Amen. <laughs> he didn't put you here to lose. He's called you to win and not lose. Remember uh, Proverbs 18:21. Uh, Always. You can mark that down, put it, write it down somewhere. It's the power of your words. Amen. It says the power of the tongue. But it's the power of your words that you speak. So we need to confess faithful words not negative things so thank him for the mission he's given you thank you lord for calling me thank you for giving me this mission i want to do my best for you you gave your best you gave jesus jesus gave his best now i want to do my best and give you my best amen so praise god count your blessing child of god <laughs> thank you thank you thank you and the main thing is give thanks because he has given us eternal life yes Amen. And if you, you just get yourself right with him, confess him as your Lord and Savior, start living with him, one day he's going to call us and we're, he's, we're going to spend eternal life with him. That's awesome. Amen. Hmm. Praise God. <laughs> Don't get sold out to the world. Be sold out for Jesus. Yes. Because we used to be sold out to the world, but not anymore. I'm going to be sold out for him. Amen. Yeah. So in closing, yeah. Count your blessings and give thanks 
with a grateful heart. Mm -hmm. The best attitude they have is an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. It's like, thank you, Lord. Beware, don't forget about his benefits. It says, count your blessings daily, each and every time. Be honest, don't be a phony, don't put off or put on an act. Don't pretend, don't be part-time Christian. You don't want no part-time kids. <laughs> Don't have make excuses. I don't know why I wrote this, but it says phony Christians turn people off. Watch your words, watch your actions. Amen. Don't just come and pretend to be a Christian on Sunday, Sunday mornings, and the rest of the week we just like wild things. <laughs> be a participator, not a spectator. Get involved. And serve him. Amen. A lot of us just want to be spectators and just, well, you ain't doing it right. You know, and doing whatever. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do that. I'll do it like this. No, be a participator. Get involved. God can't use you if you're not participating. When you get yourself involved, be a team player. Amen. Team player, you know what team stands for. Yeah? Together, everyone achieves more. But we're a team. I'm a team person. I'm a team player. I want to. I want to be a participator. He's not counting you out. He's counting you in. We're the ones that take ourselves out. We need to be in for Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Be grateful. There is nothing that encourages like gratitude with a thankful heart. Be vocal. Tell somebody. Praise Him. Bless Him. Bless somebody with your testimony. He didn't give it to you. And you didn't have a testimony to keep it to yourself. If he says share it with somebody, share it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be a uh, natural. Be an original. God made you to be an original, not a phony, not a copy. Copy is not as good as an original. God made you to be original. Amen. So don't see yourself last. <laughs> so praise him with your life and surrender yourself totally to him on a daily basis amen did you receive it yes. <laughs> thank you, Lord. hallelujah thank amen. you father well we're going to close those of you watching those of you listening if you never accepted him amen now's the time quit running now's the time to just get serious and say lord i've sinned against you i repent come into my life be my lord and savior he's not holding back we're holding back so it's time to come home Amen. Like the prodigal son, the father looking for his son to come home. Father's looking for his children to come home. He sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. Jesus went and gave himself up. Now it's time to come home. So you need to confess. Amen. It's too much running. It's time to come home. Just confess it. Say that prayer, and he'll come and receive you as his. His as his. Amen. So let's remember that. If you have sickness in your body, just confess what the Word of God says. By, his, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. If He put all of this on Jesus, then we don't have to go through it. So just confess. By Jesus Christ, I'm healed from head to toe. So body, line up with the Word of God and receive your healing. Amen. If I put hands on my and say, if you lay hands on the sick, so I'm, if I don't feel well, I'm going to lay hands on myself and say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Nobody else around except you and him. You don't have to wait for somebody else. You can do it right now, right then, you know, and receive your healing. Receive it. Amen. He can give give it to you. But if you're not taking it, you're not going to get it. I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Time to give. Those of you watching, listening, <laughs> uh, you can go to our website. It should be on the screen. Uh, NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. Uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. So God bless and have a blessed day.